different scenery, I know. Um, all my camera gear is still kind of um, not usable right now since filming the wedding. I'm now currently cycle day 16 and all my OPKs are still negative. Really, really negative. And um, my fertility friend has also shown no sign of ovulation. And my um, OVAQ monitor said that it detected that ovulation would be on Tuesday, which is today. Still nothing. Um, I'm just feeling really deflated. Like, I went and just did my OPK and my heart was pounding, like, before I even entered my room. Because I was just like, it's going to be negative. It's going to be negative. Um, and it was, it was very negative, they're all very negative. I just feel impending doom. I think this cycle was a bust already. And this was my worst fear, it was my absolute worst fear because that's what happened on Clomid. Clomid, the first cycle I ovulated, every cycle after that I did not. And at this stage, I mean, who knows, maybe I might ovulate in a couple of days, but at this stage, um, it's looking like it's going the same way, and I'm starting to panic a little bit. Um, and every day I've just been trying so hard not to cry, because I'm like, just, just wait another day, just wait another day, just wait another day. Um, but it is still not happening. Um, yeah, I, I am, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I try to stay as positive as possible, but I'm freaking out, I'm really panicking, because, um, if this doesn't work, that's it, that's, that's all I can say, it's actually, it's, it's, that's it, there's nothing else we can do, um, yeah, so I'm kind of, I am panicking a little bit. Um, I will have my blood test to see if I ovulated um, in six days, so next Monday. And I think I'm just going to feel sick that whole day. If I've got no indication on my OPKs or fertility friend or anything like that, if there's no indication, then I will be really feeling sick that day, just knowing that it's not going to be good. Um, and I also called up to see when I can get my ovarian drilling done and the lady was basically really rude this is not my fertility clinic this is the hospital where it's done at she was really rude she was just like um, we're not taking any on referrals at this stage until we get another I don't know specialist or whatever and I was like okay so when am I looking at she's like there'll be a letter in the mail and I'm like but how long am I looking at she's like it'll be months it'll be months and months and months away so that kind of made it worse. I'm trying really, really hard to stay positive. I am. I'm trying really hard to not freak out. But I am. Already I'm going over ideas in my head like, what can I do? What can I do? Like, the only thing that's worked for us is IVF. And obviously we can't do that because <laughs> we don't have the money to do that. And I know everyone's like, but you just got a brand new kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, we did just get a brand new kitchen because a kitchen is there. It's there. It's, I can use it. IVF is a gamble. It is a ten to fifteen thousand dollar gamble. Maybe we could save for a few years and try. But to be honest, if if we're not pregnant in a couple of years, it's just you know, Nina Rose will be um, at kindy and Roman will be at school, and it's like our lives will be kind of moving on from that, you know. I mean, it's like, how desperately do we want it? Right now, a lot. A lot. I'm really hoping I'm making this video now, I'm going to post it, and then I'm going to look like a dork, because I get a positive OPK tomorrow, or the next day, or the next day. And I hope, I want to look like a dork. I want to look like an idiot for freaking out. I want to, because I want this to work out. But it's not right now. <sighs>